So instead of being idle or reading it by myself, I just want to record what I read so you will also be blessed. I'm not sure if you can find this in the bookstore or what, but this is the title of the book. I will read Dark Sunset by Gabby Chaviano. This couple have many uh, five children, I think, and they are missionary here in the Philippines. So he, this was written when the husband, uh, Gabby, suffered from severe depression. So dark moments. This is his reflection. Think about the darkest time in your life. How would you describe it? Intense fear, sadness, and depression, heaviness, anxiety about the unknown. I felt all of those things, and I felt lost, like I did, like I didn't even know who I was anymore. In my darkest moments, I remember hours feeling like years. Time flies, but when you're having fun, but not when you're afraid you're going to die every single day. All I would see ahead of me was darkness. I did not know if anything or anyone could help. The same doctor who saved my life would encourage me and tell me I have many more days ahead of me because he had severe heart attack also before this depression happened. But that didn't but that did not put my anxiety at ease. The spiral of depression did not only bring disappointment, it soon led to anger with God with myself and with anyone I felt was failing to rescue me. I isolated myself from others, from people who loved me and only wanted to help. I seriously consider, considered ending my life. I felt like I was a burden on my family. I, I couldn't see any purpose in staying alive. I didn't know how much more I could take. I had, I had tried medicine, hemopathic, remedies, exercise, therapy, healing prayer, one strict year on a plant-based diet and I felt I was crying out as hard as I could. Many days I literally was. I didn't know where you or are on your journey. At the beginning of the darkness, still in the thick of it, or on the other side and trying to figure out where to go from here. From the other side, I would love to say that no matter how dark things was, there's always hope. But I'm not in your shoes. I would never want to gloss, to gloss over your darkness. I don't think platitudes are helpful. I don't know how much longer you have in this dark place or what will help you get out. I don't have any easy answers. I just want you to know that I've been there. And I care about you too much to let you believe that there will never be anything but darkness. As, so, as long as you are breathing, there is hope. I got a semicolon tattoo a few years ago. A reminder that my darkness was just a pause in my life, not the end. One day at a time. What helped me a lot was realizing how many days I had already made it through. I was still alive. I had survived a heart attack. I couldn't look ahead to the future, but I could do one day at a time, one sunset at a time. I always thought sunsets were supposed to be bright and colorful. Many are, but other times the clouds roll in and get in the way, and a dark, brooding sunset emerges. And now I can see the beauty in those dark sunsets too. I took those pictures, I took these pictures that I will show you like that uh, to help us remember what our darkest felt like. When I was going through the darkness, I probably couldn't have found beauty in dark sunsets. If you can see the beauty in your darkness right now, that's okay. I get it. I still hope these words and photos bring you some comfort even just a little bit because his hobby is that he loves to take photo so this is what he got this is very nice i can show you some of his emotion that he felt during his depression state tormented 
Depressed people felt they are tormented. If you're going through hell, keep going. Winston Churchill. Doesn't mean that when you go through like darkness like that, you just end it. Just keep going. And someday it ends. There's always light at the end of the tunnel. Inadequate. This is how you will feel. This is the photo. Imperfection are not inadequacies. They are reminders that we're all in this together. My imperfection could be your strength. My weakness could be your perfection. Something like that. <laughs> so we need each other. So we complement one another. And I hope that goes with husband and wife. You don't compete with each other. Rather, you help one another and complement each other. Numb. So, sometimes you don't feel anything anymore. You are numb. Numb the dark and you numb the light. Brini Brown. There are things that it's okay to feel numb so you don't feel the pain. But sometimes it's also nice to go through the feeling of pain so we can empathize with those people who go through that. I don't like to take so much of your time every episode that I would like to record. So I think I continue in another video for the next other emotion. So with what we have gone through, tormented, inadequate, and numb, uh, if you feel this way during this time, uh, find hope in Christ. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we give thanks to you because we are alive. And we can feel all this emotion so that we can be able to go through to those people uh, who are feeling like this and some also. There's no amount of pain that we should go through comparing with the pain that you have gone through because of your great love to us. Thank you very much, Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Honestly, I am not used to praying with opening my eyes, but it's good to just look at you because I'm recording. <laughs> anyway, God bless. Bye-bye.